going to break the wheel. And a good morning to everyone out there and welcome to a special Game of Thrones Season 8 Breaking the Wheel installment. I'm your host, the West Rosie Ninja, as usual, and today the wheel will be predicting the character deaths in Episode 3 in the upcoming Battle for the Dawn at Winterfell against those crazy White Walkers. It's going to be a really epic ep episode and... I expect a major bloodbath here. So, and as usual, please leave any feedback and or questions that you want to see addressed in future Breaking the Wheel episodes in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and start us off. And the question that I'm going to ask the wheel uh, today is who will be seven known characters to die at the Battle of Winterfell in episode three? And the reason why I chose seven as the number is because that's my prediction, at least for the over and under of character deaths in the episode uh, three coming up. And as well as the number seven being a really significant number in the Song of Ice and Fire lore, such as the Faith of the Seven and the Trial by Seven. So uh, I just like that number as it relates to Game of Thrones. and. A Song of Ice and Fire, and uh, let's go ahead and start, why don't we? So we're going to go off and actually start picking the characters that would die. It uh, doesn't necessarily have to be in chronological order, but uh, we're just going to let the wheel do its job here. And remember, the wheel has no biases whatsoever, nor any kind of political agenda. And I was really, really surprised when I was making this wheel that there was actually enough slots for 25 people uh, in... Uh, for episode three, who will most likely be at Winterfell and subject to um, death. So let's go ahead and start with, with the first uh, character to die. And voila, and it's spinning. And the first character the wheel predicts to die is God, it's really a toss up. It's right on the line, so I'm gonna have to go pick again. So let's do this one more time. That was a toss up between Jorah and a daughter's head, but it was just right on the line, amazingly. So let's do this again. The first person to die is Patrick Payne. Yes, the man who sings, who has his who had his moment of glory, of course he's gonna die. That's your typical Hollywood trope. So Patrick Payne is one of the characters that will die and uh i can see that definitely so let's go ahead and see what the wheel predicts for a second person to die is okay and it's coming to an end and the second person to die is davos seaworth yeah and the wheel did predict davos to die uh, in a uh, previous installment of breaking the wheel so uh yeah I'll, I'll be really really sad about this you know davos had this moment of you know humanity there in the soup line when he saw you know the shireen baratheon clone and uh i was hoping he'll survive but uh nah i think he's gonna die he's not a fighter he's more of a negotiator so davos seaworth is the next person the wheel predicts to be pushing up the rosies and let's go and see what the wheel predicts for the third person away we go and away we'll stop now third person to die torment giant spain yep i think he's a bit too drunk to fight in the battle winterfell so maybe his reflexes will be slowed down a bit but uh I hate to see him go because he had some of the best lines last episode, but uh, sorry, Tormund. Uh, there's going to be a new leader of the Wildlings after the battle. So uh, Tormund goes. And let's go for the next person. So we're at number four now. And remember, don't get mad because the wheel, again, has no biases, no political agenda, and the wheel does not get depressed. So let's go and see what the wheel picks now for number four. And the fourth person to bite the dust is Arya Stark. And I actually 
predict this as being the shock death of next episode. I mean, she's basically regained her, human her humanity back. And your typical Hollywood trope is, you know, if a character has sex, they're going to die in the next scene. That's your typical Hollywood uh, horror movie trope, and I'm sticking with that now because D&D will probably do that. They'd love to do this kind of stuff. So, uh, Arya Stark as the shock death for episode 3, and the wheel is predicting that. So, let's go for number 5, why don't we? Numero Cinco, and away we go. It's getting exciting, guys. And we'll stop right now. And the fifth person the wheel predicts is Davos Seaworth. We can't have that again, so we're gonna reset and pick in. Isn't this exciting? So away we go now. Let's see what it picks for number five. Beric Dondarrion. Yep, I can see him basically dying and given the kiss of life after the battle, or even during the battle, to somebody else, some other major character who dies. Remember, he has one more kiss of life to give, and it'll be interesting to see who it would be. So, Beric Dondarrion, with the flaming sword, lights out for him. So, let's go for number six. And we're going to stop here. And the sixth person to die is the little bear, Liana Mormon. Yeah, I, I see. I can see this definitely. I mean, even though she has those 62 men to guard her, uh, it's, it's going to be rough sailing for her in the battle. She's def I mean, she's a fighter. She has spunk, but, you know, against whites and white walkers. I just don't see it happening unless Jorah Mormon becomes her bodyguard or something like that. So, um, yep, Liana Mormon, the little bear, will be no more. And the last person the wheel will be picking to die is... We'll stop here. Number seven, Lucky Seven, Bran Stark. It'll be sad, but he's the bait, and, you know, I think the whole battle is just a diversionary tactic by the Night King. So, you know, while the army is just basically clashing and having, these, and having an epic battle, the Night King would just basically swoop right in from the other side, or even from the south, and basically um, kill Bran the God's Wood. So, uh, yep. That's, uh, the Night King will accomplish his goal at least, his first goal of basically wiping out m memories. So, uh, Bran Stark, see you later, uh, you're dead. So, uh, that is it, guys. Thanks a lot for coming out here. And, uh, remember, uh, to basically leave any feedback in the comment section below. And any other questions that you might have that you want to see the wheel address in future installments of, uh, Breaking the Wheel. So, again, have a great day. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Ultra Ninja J Capra Dupla Jinxa Bota Chakra Em cada linha de faca face Macramé no micado passo Espadas por frases Sintático Repara no que digo É paradigmático Não tenho paralelo Sou para lado mágico Sabes como rolo Martel pneumático Técnica secreta do monstro roxo Estamos a meter-nos no dojo Estamos a manter como no jogo Só com uma espada nos tojos Plano picado Não sabes de onde esta ave vem Nenhum radar pode detectar Onde está a nave mãe Tu sabes bem Somos a clique, somos o clã É Monster Jinx cabrão, respeita o baixo que meta a Na terra do nunca não digo banzai Vivo na espunca e tenho um bonsai Ninja que é ninja, ninja, frotas imperiais E bate mal, logo bate mais A minha crew não sai espelhos Na rua, dragão azul, dragão vermelho Sento silêncio Verso shinobi, nunca me canso Sou de Nairobi, ágil como ninja Rápido como ninja, tal como ninja Brutal como ninja, fatal como ninja Forte como ninja, secreto como ninja Deve mesmo ser um ninja Esta é para os meus ninjas Só para os meus ninjas Onde é que estão os meus? Ninjas, 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 ninjas. Esta é para os meus ninjas, só para os meus ninjas. Onde é que estão os meus? Ninjas, ninjas, ninjas.